The Netherlands is the latest country to see all those glorious cultural benefits from the civilized citizens of Eritrea. What kind of country allows this? What kind of country thinks nothing of importing people will behave like this once they arrive? Let me tell you what kind of country. A country run by elites who have contempt for the people they rule over. Elites who don't believe in national borders. Elites who don't even believe their own country should exist in any recognisable form, because without national borders, there is no nation. All there is is just a piece of land. They should stand trial for high treason. What possible benefit do European countries get from importing people who have zero respect for the customs and culture of the country that has taken them in? People who proceed to smash up the country they have arrived in over politics in their homelands thousands of miles away on a different continent. Why on earth is the politics of Eritrea being played out on Europe's streets? It's bad enough them being here without the rioting. With it just adds insult to injury. Not that any of this should matter, but apparently a group loyal to Eritrea's government was holding a meeting when the venue was attacked by those who oppose Eritrea's government. It then erupted into a full-scale riot. Why can't they stay in their own country and riot on their own streets and force change there? Dozens of people, including 26 police officers, were injured during an Eritrean cultural festival in the German city of Stuttgart last year. Well, Europe is finding out all about their culture on its streets. Yet, no doubt, there'll be no deportations. Quite the opposite, in fact. So we can expect more of the same, just with larger groups next time. England has nowhere near as big a population of these people as Germany, Netherlands and Sweden does. But we have already seen riots on London's streets. Massive planks of wood and sticks seems to be their weapon of choice. Time to put an end to this insanity. These people need to be stopped from entering Europe and those already here returned. Dutch politician Gert Wilders has promised to do something about it, but let's hope for all our sakes he is able to do so. Britain's government has no interest in doing anything about it, though it is more than happy to lie to its people and pretend that it does care just to get our votes. It's time all our countries put a stop to this madness. Rest assured, if they don't, there won't be a Netherlands, a Sweden, a Britain or a Europe left. We will have become the colonised.